Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so today, a couple of things going on. Gonna give this thing a double cut, cause it needs a double cut, because last time I made it was a single cut. I mean, it hasn't grown much, but some spots just look like they've been missed, which you can't have that, bro. You just cannot have that. Um, and we're also gonna get out some pre-emergent. Now, I've, I'm a little bit late on it. Should've got it out um, probably the start of March, end of Feb. We're now at the start of April. Um, and the reason I waited so long is because I was trying to decide if I wanted to overseed this area here with some ryegrass. As a lot of you know, I decided not to do that only because um, with the lack of water that we've got here, because we've got tanks, until the bore is installed, um, that's sort of just the way it is. So unfortunately, no ryegrass this year. So I'm going to get down some pre-emergent. It's going to be a little bit late, um, but better late than never if it's still close to the window. Um, we're still going to stop quite a bit of winter grass coming up, which is the main goal with this one here. So this, what we're going to put down today is some um, barricade, which you can see here. Man, there's some spider webs up there. I need to clean that so bad. But some barricades. So this is the pre-emergent that we're going to be putting out today. Um, this is something I've used year, year, year after year. Um, this stuff just here, um, which is going to last in our soil for about six months. We're going to put it down at 30 mil per 100 square meters. So nice low rate. Um, so this will last years and years and years on your home lawn. If you're using acreage like out here, obviously it won't last quite as long as with any product. Um, but the main reason putting it down just before winter is to prevent that winter grass, which I'll pop up a picture of it on the screen. You guys quite possibly have this in your lawn or have had it in your lawn in the past. Just a pain in the bum because it just keeps coming back, keeps coming back. Produces millions of seed head a year. Just goes absolutely bananas. Um, something we dealt with on the golf course all the time. On the golf course though, you sort of manage it. You don't really try to kill it unless you've got a huge budget and even still, still very hard to get rid of. But in our home lawns, pre-emergence are the way to go. You don't put pre-emergence on greens, so that's why it's hard to get rid of it, but yeah. Doing this stuff. Forgot to mention, we're also gonna pair alongside it a wedding agent, so we've got this AquaTurf here. All these are available on my website. But the reason we put down a wedding agent with it is because we're gonna break the surface tension on top of the soil, so it's just gonna allow this to get down into our soil more evenly. That's the main reason, especially if you've got hydrophobic soil, and not a bad idea to get two things out at once and sort of save a little bit of water on the kai So because I actually haven't put any wedding agent out this season, which I really should have because I'm only using like that manual irrigation, so would have been smart anyway. We'll do it today, even though it's near the end of the season. <laughs> if you want any more information on pre-emergence too, um, go check out some of my previous videos I've done on it. Um, but basically what pre-emergence is going to do is stop weeds coming up in your lawn. So it doesn't stop them germinating, but once the weeds do germinate, it basically knocks them out. So they can't get any further. That's why you can't apply this stuff to newly established lawns where the root system is really, really short. So anything under like three centimetres, like normally with new turf, you normally wait about five to six months until you put down a pre-emergent, um, unless you're using something like Oxapro or Oxafert or something along those lines, um, which has oxidiase on in it. Um, and then, yeah, you gotta be careful. With seeded lawns, I would make sure you wait six months, just because it does take a little bit longer for that root system to get going. Um, so that's the problem with seeded lawns. Sometimes you have to just keep up on top of the weeds. So once you've started mowing a few times, you can start putting down um, what we call post-emergent herbicides. So once the weeds have germinated and they're up in the lawn, that's when you can spray down something like your turf control or something along those lines to knock out the weeds that are in your lawn. But anyway, let's get a mow on. We're gonna do a double cut on this and then we'll get out our pre-emergent and our wetter. and good. You can tell the furt is just starting to kick in. Um, it might need a little bit of liquid iron just to give it a little bit of a colour boost because who doesn't love a really really dark green lawn. Um, there is, wasn't too much iron in that fertiliser, more hitting the K to get this thing nice and strong for winter time. Um, but mate, it's looking really really tidy. I love a double cut. 
triple cut even better. But mate, it is just looking, it's just looking so much better now. I'm actually onto it, putting the Primo on it, starting to put products out again, because yeah, it's been a bit of an odd season this year with lots of rain and no rain and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Um, but mate, can't wait to get this down. The goal next season is 10 mil. Depends on what everything's going on with the irrigation on the on everything with the bore and all that sort of stuff and building the path three if I get time to do that. But that I will have time to do it. 100 percent I will. Um, but yeah, super happy with how this is looking. But let's get this pre-emergent out. Let's stop those weeds coming up for winter. So as I said, winter grass for this time of year, if you would put it down in August slash um, September for your summer weeds, you'd be trying to prevent things like summer grass, crab grass. Um, past Palin if you're in the States, Dallas grass um, and a couple of other weeds as well but we're aiming for those grassy weeds also like crow's foot as well just those nasty boys that are really hard to get with post-emergent herbicides so pre-emergence other go. Alright so we've got our AquaTurf wetting agent here we'll put that in first now make sure you fill up your sprayer close to what your amount of water is going to be we're putting our four litres per hundred square meter per hundred square meters here so 200 square meters there slight bit over um, so we're gonna do eight liters of water. Now the rate for this, from memory, I think it's 200 mil per 100 square meters, but I just want to double check. 200 mil per 100 square meters for this stuff here. So I put a put out 400 mil. I love these measuring jugs, man. They are the bomb. Right. 100 mil. 200 mil. Now, put the barricade out. Remember, 30 mil per 100 square meters. Don't need to go any higher than that. This stuff is a crazy colour, I tell you what. Check this out, man. What do we need? I need 60 mil. It is, whoa, beautiful. Maybe a small bit over, it doesn't really matter. Look at that stuff, man. Like paint. Now the fun part is washing it out, it takes ages. Easy as that, so we'll go out in two directions. Now the reason I like doing that, just in case you miss a spot, so I've calibrated this. Four litres gets me over 100 square metres in two directions. Um, actually, it's a little bit less than four litres now. It's like three and a half litres. So we're sort of at that perfect point. Or I could just walk slower. That would be even better. Um, now, I, you can use a boom on this bad boy just here, the Solo 441, but you don't get as much pressure, I've found. Um, I just like how much pressure you get out of just using the one because this thing isn't designed for a um, a two nozzle boom, um, but it does work. I have used it in the past, but not quite as good as something like the 417. Now, the reason I've been using the 417 is because Josh has got it. Let's do it, bro. Right, so that is all done. Um, need to water that in. Um, we're actually supposed to get some rain later today, so I'll be fine to leave this on for a couple of hours, but it needs to be watered in because starter's wetting agent can burn your lawn if you're not careful, especially if it's stressed or super dry. If it is like that, water it in straight away. With about, you only have to do about six, seven mil of irrigation. You don't have to go crazy with it. But as for the barricade, I like to get down a full irrigation cycle, so about 13 mil. Um, so we're supposed to get about 10 to 15 mil tonight, so that should work out really, really well. Um, so I'll just let the, yeah, I'll let the clouds do it, not myself. Um, unless it doesn't rain by late this afternoon, then I will be chucking on some irrigation. Um, but yeah, the other thing is make sure you keep your pets off there until it dries out after you've watered it. That's what I'd recommend you do, so Schnitty's not coming out here for the rest of the day probably. Um, yeah, to prevent some weeds. Yeah. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that'll keep Schnitty off the lawn? Probably not. <laughs> um, shout out to Matthew Thompson for sending me this. Um, looks mad. I mean, there's not really many people to tell to keep off the lawn out here apart from the kids. I guess it'd be a good way to do it. But I think it's a great idea if you're in town and you've applied some herbicide, you put something down that you just want people to stay off your lawn or if you don't like people walking on your lawn or the poster keeps going across it. Not a bad idea. Um, so, I'm considering putting these on the website um, if you guys want to purchase them. If there's some interest, we'll do it. If there's not, we won't. So let me know if you guys are interested. But thank you again to Matthew for sending me these. 
Um, I think they are awesome. They look really, really good too. He's made them himself and they look schmick. Um, yeah, not bad. Well, thanks guys for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. Um, glad to have got some barricade out in the end, even though it was a little bit late um, since I decided not to do the ryegrass. So we should see a lot of those weeds not come up this year because I did see a lot of winter grass or poa come up in this lawn um, when we first moved in. Well, I saw a lot in there, so we'll find out if it does the job on it. Um, but yeah, things are going well. I'm still just waiting for the skids to turn up and then we'll just get stuck into some trenching. I was sort of hoping to be stuck into it today, but it's a good thing I got some barricade out instead because um, it really needed to be done. But kaki is looking good. Let's see how long we can get this thing to hold into its color. So I'm going to start doing like a weekly, oh, weekly, yeah, weekly fertilizer application of spoon feeding on this just to try to tick it along for as long as I can with some liquid iron um, just to keep this thing going as long as I can. Let's see if we can get it through to the middle of winter. We'll find out. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate yours. Like this video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a good week.